Welcome back, guys. This... Starting over. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. This is Rizakius, and we are playing Craft the World once again. Holy cow, a sheep got loose. I don't think the sheep actually got loose. I think he's just in our house. We're gonna kill him. Um... I think I want to add at least one more uh, fence to this farm. Actually, let's not... Let's trap him instead. Can we get him? Do we have a trap sitting around? Maybe I... Just to get two in that pen. Er, where is the trap? I think it's here. It's not there. As you can see from up here, we are really close to... Uh, to the next, ha, as it would happen, to the next, um, what are, what are they called, uh, whatever they're called, incursion, we'll call them today, and I am going to attack this dude, and we've done a little bit of remodeling, we'll talk about the remodeling after the incursion occurs. But for now, know that we have done some remodeling. Oh. Trying to get everything to be pretty fancy here. Now oh, the bugs are really strong here. You can tell they're coming. Oh, got a... I need here to pick up. Archer! Don't really need an archer right now. <laughs> and we got these frostlings to deal with again. Which we'll probably have to wait until a couple of days after the, uh, the incursion because the, my guys are going to need to sleep. More than likely. And there we go. Start getting our guys up here. Actually, I did... create a defense tower. One of these wooden towers. Uh, let's put it down here. And then... I mean, he's going to have to come up the, ba the back way to put it up, but we should get that up. Under! Ah! There's a Yeti back here, too. That's not helpful. Oh, good. He's going to put it up while these guys are being under attack. Nice. Mages are actually kind of cool in this game. If you can get their level up, they're really awesome. Uh, for one, just their natural attack. Um, holy crap, those guys are flying. What the hell is going on? Uh, we need to get a spell to shut that guy up, up from up there. I think I already have fireball. Yes, I do. So we're going to throw a fireball at him. Oh, that was part of advanced weaponry, I think. Got a guy going there, so I'm going to let him take care of it. There we go. This we can't abide by. I I don't know why they were jumping so high. That was really strange. And now they look like they're taking down the those walls. The over there. Did we get them all? Yeah, we got them all. That 
I, I feel like it is getting slightly easier. It might get more difficult for the next one, but these incursions are are getting a little easier over time. The I, I liked being able to put that up, even if it was a little late. We need a door to be put back up. A door. Back! And I'm going to put up a spiky thing right there. A, a Yeti took it down. All right, so I, I got this going. Um, this actually took all my ice walls to build this one floor. If you remember, my beds were down here. And I dug up this whole area and filled it in with ice wall for the floor. And ice wall in the back. And I decided I kind of like it being a little bit of a mishmash. Guys, tell me if you like it or if you dislike it. If you think that I should go all ice or or if this mishmash kind of works. I might get rid of these three stone um, par parts, uh, the stone walls in the background. And I think I need to fill these two in with ice. But otherwise, the ice mixed with a little bit of snow, I don't mind it. But the stone, I, I need to think about that a little more, I think. Um, someone should get that spider. Next thing I did, I did actually... Ah! 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 I did actually, um... come down and I took out a big chunk of the, the dirt that was here. This dirt it was generally where I kept my fields and now I'm going to be putting fields here instead. Um, the reason I did this is because I wanted it all the same level. I'm going to do the same thing over here as well, uh, but for now this will do. Yep. Actually, let's go ahead and build this stone wall that I want to put right there. Just get that started. Uh, my guys have also been over here doing a pretty good job at digging this up. Uh, I haven't had as many tasks for these guys, and I have a little bit more in the way of um, dwarves right now. So, thankfully... They have been hard at work at mining, so I've been getting some ores that I've been desperately needing for so long. I'm still struggling on wood, but it's not as bad as it was. We need a wood farm. I don't really know how to do a wood farm without magic. Oh. Replace any fragile earthen walls with stone or brick ones. That's interesting. I did do that. Let's see if we can build some more of these ice walls here. Three. Not enough to make a wall. Oh well. It hasn't snowed for a couple of, a, a little while, not a couple of days. I think it's been shorter than that. Do we have... Where's the sheep? How, how can I tell if I have a sheep? I have my trap back, but I don't think I, I... I think I must have gotten rid of the sheep when I took the trap. That's weird. Oh, well. I wouldn't have killed that sheep had I had the other one. Because this sheep doesn't seem to be multiplying by himself. He, I swear they had it previously. I wonder if they fixed that. But now it seems like I need two in order to start getting more, more sheep. Uh... I suppose we could put this there. Oops. Uh oh. Let's see if we can put the trap right in there. <laughs> Let's put more shit there. The more, the better. All right, now catch him right away. Yep, caught. Catch. Uh, 
<laughs> Remove trap. Cut down. Man, I'm getting my usage out of that one portal for the one block. This is kind of awesome. Might as well, you know. So that gives me two sheep. Sure enough. I'm going to put some better lighting here. Because it's a little dark for my tastes. So now I have two sheep. Hopefully that, that helps me get more sheep faster. Because that is the name of the game. I For flooring, for down here, I kind of want the solid blocks. So we're going to switch that over if we can. Apparently we can't. There we go. Maybe we just have to go through a couple different patterns. I like the blocks a little better for this style. And I think I should build the rest of the beds. Oh, they're there. We have them already. Well, why can't I place here? I don't understand. What's wrong? That's weird. What is going on? Like, there we go. It's very strange. It's like I have to double click right now for some reason. There we go. There, that'll get us nine bets, and I have ten guys. Which means I'm going to have to have two dorm areas for, for these guys. I do want to build a second door. We need another door. I hate to build one of these kind of doors, but... There we go. Because I want to be able to shut this off, and it kind of makes it feel a little more complete. Now, if you notice, I, I left this open down here because I want to let these guys climb down if they wanted to. Yeah, let's just open this up now that we have that going. And I I like also having the ladder snuff with with the floor, so we're gonna put that there. What else we got going on down here? There is this area. I have a lot of stuff that I wanna go explore, but just haven't really had the time to so far. Get that going. I mean, look at all this stuff that they have to go carry down. Okay. I'm going to remove the ice table, and then I'm going to start moving that down here, too. Eventually, we need to get all of this replaced. This is going to be the next level I go with the ice. Another query. The nice thing about these blocks versus this... Thin, um, this thin line is that the ice blocks, you can't really see what's behind it. Like behind these two, there is sand. But you can't tell that because it's being blocked up right now. And I cho I'm choosing not to put this... Gosh... Yeah, I think I'm going to make this all block. But in the comments below, you guys should tell me, like, what you think is better. I think this is going to work out better. And also, like, I feel like ice blocks, for what I'm going for here, are a little better as well. Because it makes it feel more strong and muscular, I guess. I don't know what the right word is. Fortifying? Doing bad with the English tonight. Ah, oh, I went five. I think my button is like clicking fast. And maybe that's why I was having a hard time with the uh, 
beds. But I've never had that problem with this mouse ever since I got it, so that's kind of strange. Alright, we need that table back. And I'm just going to... This isn't going to be the final place I put it, but I'm just going to put it basically right below it. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave the ookum-bookum right there. Ookum-bookum. And tear those down. I think I'm going to remove that. Remove wooden bridge. Because I just don't need it. I really want to get down here so that I can get rid of those stupid bugs. Because I just don't even like hearing them. It's kind of obnoxious. For me, the player. I don't know how it is for you guys. Uh, okay, so we need to get the tech trees up. I built one of these tough backpacks. Even though I got this farm going, I'm still a little light on the um, wool. Oh, I have a couple here. Let's make some more string. That might actually help a lot. String has been one of my big problems. So let's go ahead and make a few more of these tough backpacks. And that'll help out expert construction. That's that's my top priority. It's a difficult um, tier because the only two real things that I like to build is the backpack and the wooden tower. And both are really costly. Like this uses a, a bit of wood and the rope. And this uses frickin' everything. It requires a bow, it requires oil, it requires wood, um, something else too. But the, like, the oil and the bow in particular, very costly. Um, I had one spare bow, so I just decided to use it for that. Oh yeah, there's the fireball. Did I, I feel like in the last episode I, I got a new mage. Mage... Yeah, I need to get another mage staff, because if I have a natural mage, I might as well craft. I might as well equip him correctly, right? Oh, I have... Oh my gosh. Has it really been that long since I've played this game? I, I, I apparently already did do that. There we go. Uh, next thing I want to do... See, we can do food. Did I do the kitchen stove already? I don't think I did. Let's build a, a kitchen stove if I can. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very good. Very ahead of myself today. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely something going on with my mouse. I don't... Maybe that, that was it. Well, that's a lot smaller than I thought, so we'll put it right there. Why did the table not work? I don't understand. All right, what else can we do? Oh yeah, I couldn't make any of this stuff because I needed coal at the time. Still don't have any apples. I don't even know how to get apples in this world because they come out of trees, and I don't think the type of tree that they come out, I'm generally getting growing here, so I've not been lucky enough for that. Let's make a little of everything, though. This one requires an egg, flour, water. I think the bread is uh, better than the bun. Now, if you look at this, it gives you a feeding of three. Some things are better than other things. This has a two. I think four is what you want, so I think the apple pie has four. Oh, no, that's two. I was making that a lot in the previous game. That was a bad decision. Three, three, 
Fish stew? I guess three is the best thing that you could get. Yeah. So that, that tells you how much you're filling up your hunger bar, basically. Let's make some more grilled meat. Alright, that'll get some dwarves on that stuff. Take that. I don't even know what you get from these bushes, but I always take them down because they take up space. I would rather have a tree there than these stupid bushes. And that tree doesn't seem to be growing. There we go. Nice. It's looking really good. Come on, goats or sheep, make a third sheep. Why are you breeding so slowly? Don't buy me. Get another wool, and now let's make some more fences, actually. I think I only need two, so we'll start with two, and I think that'll make it all the way here, and that'll be good. Two down two. What was that? That was weird. It's like a little teleport of my camera. Didn't know that was a power. Alright guys, I think this is... I don't know. I need a little bit more done here. I don't know what. Though. So we got stuff cooking up there. Oh, uh, let's make some a couple of square windows. That'll get us some XP. There we go. That was instant too. What does the spire require? We can do this. Shingled roof. Round window, which I wasn't using anything for. That clay. And a couple of stone. There we go. Alright, let's wait for that stuff to go on that side. Oh yeah. What is this? Why do these things, like, I'm trying to build stuff, and for some reason, my dwarves are not building it for me. I would really like them to actually build it. After, after something's been sitting there for a while, waiting for the dwarf to put it down, it goes red like that, and it just dismisses the, uh, the, the task. I don't like that particular feature, or I wish I could turn it off or something. I would like to give you guys some food, but this you guys don't want to build a table. Until you build a table, you can't have food, so suck it. There we go. Table done. Now we can get some food out for you guys. I do think I need some more dill. Was that correct? So there's a few things that I think we need to be a making. Oh, flour. We could use a little more flour. So we'll start that a little bit. Uh, I want to make more steel too. So we'll get someone working on that. That'll basically fill up all of these slots. This one's being used to make some more food. This one's being made used to make flour. Got a steel. Got wood. Everything's being worked. It's very prosperous. I like it. Let's see if we can build this metal chest here for our last piece of XP. Dang it. I accidentally clicked this stupid thing once. Twice. Once. Eh. Chest. Chesty, where are you? There you go. Alright, so we've got a lock. 
iron, iron, iron. And that's how you do a chest. We'll make one of those and hopefully that finishes it up. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying Craft the World as much as I am. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.